You know, fundraising is a critical to a nonprofit organization. It's it's like breathing. It's, it's if it's not going on, you're dying. You know, yeah. and it just has to be a part, which is really so much is your focus and why you're there with Cleveland Ballet. What's working for you in the COVID era? Well, the biggest and most important thing is touring. You know, in the warmer months, I mean, right now we've got snow up to our knees. So, you know, it's not as helpful now. But in the warmer months, we are touring the region. We uh, go down to Summit County, Stark County, and everywhere around Cleveland. We've been at the Great Lakes Science Center at... um, you know, the harbor and all of those different kinds of places where we can perform outdoors. Mm -hmm. People can come and they can see it. The the cultural gardens, that's another thing that you probably don't know about Cleveland, but that will be a conversation for another time. Um, You know, that's a wonderful place that we love to perform. And we can have all sorts of people come and view the performances and experience them you know, and it gives us an opportunity to actually go and talk to people who haven't seen it before, haven't been a supporter, but that fall in love with it and want it to continue. And so they reach out and they're a part of our Friends of Cleveland Ballet now. So that's another big thing is making sure that you have a group of supporters that can reach out to the people they know, you know, and introduce them recruit them, Mm -hmm. have them learn more about it. That's beautiful. You know, I was reading an article earlier today and I was talking about how business likes to call themselves a family, but a a corporation can fire you. So they're not really a family. They're more like a community um, and sometimes a community of thugs. Unfortunately though, on the nonprofit side, we actually can create community and we can create that sense of family. (laughs) 